Hello. In this video, I'll show you how to use my latest plugin, Crawlomatic Multi Page Scraper plugin for WordPress. Using this plugin, you can uh, uh, import content to your blog, even if that content does not uh, provide an API uh, or does not have RSS feeds available. So you can scrape the content and import it to your blog. So let's check it out. Go to plugins, add new, upload plugin, choose file, navigate to the zip file you downloaded, and click install now. After it, this activate the plugin. Go to plugin settings. Here you will see some advanced settings of the plugin. You can go directly to web crawl to posts. Here we can generate our first importing rule. So let's say I want to import from TechCrunch. For this I have to go to a TechCrunch uh, a website URL, a post URL, copy its link and paste it here. This will be used for the scraping seed. So from here the scraping will start and it will start crawl the website. Firstly it will import this post and others will be imported from here. Uh, you can define a schedule, uh, run this rule every 24 hours, maximum posts should be 10 that will be imported, post status should be published it item type post also every custom page type you have defined will appear here post author is admin and some advanced options here we have many many options you can customize the page title the page content the post title and post content you have short codes here are some available short codes each will represent uh, the specific post specific content and will be replaced here post format if your wordpress supports post formats select one here additional post category you here you have a multi select you can select categories you can remove categories auto post categories uh, if you check this automatic categories will be generated for your post this works only if you enter here down a uh, date query string. I will explain this in a minute. Remove WordPress default post category. If you check this, the default post category from WordPress will be removed and will be replaced by this. Automatic post tags from categories, additional manual categories, enable comments, ping back trackbacks, auto get featured image, strip images from post content, Skip checking OG image meta tag. If you don't want the feature image to be assigned firstly from OG image, check this. If you don't want neither the post content to be checked for featured images, check this. Default featured image. If no image found, you can use this featured image as, a, as this image as a featured image. Band word list, required word list, run regex on content, replace matches by regex. These are some restrictions. You can ban some words or require some words or modify the content by this regex. <coughs> strip HTML from full content. You can uh, strip HTML. Strip HTML by ID or class. If you grabbed more content than you should, you can strip parts of it away with these two features. Limit article word count, automatically translate to source language, hide Google Translate pop-up from the, uh, the generated content, read more button text, automatically delete posts after a period of time. You can define here uh, in this format or so, okay a percentage of the content to keep uh, post custom fields you can define here custom fields in this format 
and now the crawling and content grabbing customizations do not crawl external links if you check this only internal links will be crawled so if i crawl techcrunch only techcrunch links will be crawled no facebook no twitter no external links will be accessed maximum link crawling depth you can change here how uh, deep you want to go in crawling if you wish to understand this please check crawling wi on wikipedia content query uh, type uh, you can define here a HTML query on uh, how to get the post content. Post content is uh, gotten automatically, so this is optional. Only if you want to override the automatic post uh, getting. In this case, uh, this should this this would be article entry and class so if you would uh, have uh, if you wish to fill in this for TechCrunch here will be class and article entry but let's leave this right now at its default value the t title the same you can uh, grab the article's title by its uh, class okay Featured image query type, you can get the featured image, uh, the same like the upper two, by any of these four methods. Featured image is also detected automatically. Uh, date, you can get the article's date. This is not automatically detected, so if you don't uh, fill in here the query string, for the article then the current date will be used category query type also you can detect categories from the post uh, also this is not detected automatically if you don't fill in no categories will be automatically assigned to the generated posts so remember the content the title the featured image are automatically detected the date and the category are not automatically detected so you, if you don't fill in these none will be assigned also get css from content to match the css content of the source page and source article encoding if you have a special encoding page okay so let's start this right now let's save settings and let's run this rule now this rule would run automatically in this date if I haven't run it right now. Okay, let's check our blog. Let's check our blog. Okay, like this. Posts are appearing, but we have here an issue. Uh, any posts. Uh, any link is crawled also the categories links the so TechCrunch has many 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 uh, links on its site even uh, many internal so if you want to crawl only posts you have to uh, get some specific uh, content from each post I detected that this content is specific only to posts to articles so if i want to import only articles i delete now the generated content and i copy this content that i know that is only in posts and insert it here in the generated in the required word list so the this will be required for the post to be posted save settings and run rule now in this way i can filter articles only articles will be posted to my blog in this way it is running right now let's refresh this no content found because i just delete 
so no content found because I just deleted the old posts let's check now it is finished let's refresh the blog and here are the articles let's have a look at some as you can see nicely crawled articles even with pictures also uh, also uh, YouTube uh, videos are crawled and uh, uh, successfully posted using this plugin uh, Vimeo embedded videos and any 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 HTML content can be successfully grabbed okay so uh, I gave you only the TechCrunch example but you can use this practically for any website on the web to get content from it okay so now let's look at some more uh, features of the plugin you can see what rules are currently running you can backup current rules to file load from file the rules restore plugin default settings delete all posts generated by this plugin delete all rules generated by this plugin and activity and logging section where you can see logs of the plugin activity main settings here are some advanced settings enable post auto deletion feature if you uncheck this the auto deletion feature will not work clear core decoding value these are some advanced settings do not check for duplicate post if you check this duplicate post will be posted on your po blog show extended item information these are meta boxes that appear for each post if you go on a post that is generated by this plugin then you will see this meta box this meta box was generated by the plugin enable logging for rules uh, you can disable the logging feature you can enable also detail logging feature you can automatically clear logs you can uh, define a timeout for rule running you can define a timeout for one request to a web page you can define a delay between requests if the source web page has a crawling uh, stopping feature then here you can define a timeout or even you can define like this uh, you can define more values delay between rule running you can define a uh, timeout between two rule runnings you can send email on rule summary or you can post each post in email you can copy images from content locally you can not copy featured images locally and use them at their source verify featured verify featured images if are not corrupt featured image resize you can resize the featured image as you wish you can resize the iframe that was uh, uh, crawled uh, scraped from the website as you wish to fit your needs disable automatic accept generation strip links from generated post content crawled category separa separator this uh, is an advanced settings for the category uh, grabbing if you want to change the separator do it here add attributes to internal links you can add here rel nofollow for example also for external replace all links with this one read more button text spin the word using one of these five uh, spinning options two are paid and three are free also built in one posting restrictions minimum title worker maximum title worker minimum content worker maximum content worker skip post that uh, with these words in their featured image names skip posts that do not have images skip post older than a selected date also this feature will work only if you uh, uh, scrape the article date from the original post if you don't scrape it this feature will not work 
also a random sentence generator you can use these short codes in their content and define here some sentences with variables define the values for variables here uh, these variables will be replaced at random with these values and one random sentence will be selected you can define uh, two short codes custom HTML and custom HTML2 with two custom HTML codes you can define here add codes or anything you wish affiliate keyword replacer tools search for a keyword replace for, uh, with another keyword and add a link to it you can select where to do this also you can uh, use uh, two uh, short codes WordPress short codes to list all generated posts by this plugin you can have you can see here usage examples okay so this plugin has a ton of features i hope you will enjoy it i hope you will use it and uh, make best use of it so if you have questions feel free to contact me until next time bye bye